I think with my fame and position as champion of Cyrodiil, as well as my high skills and equipment, that whatever task I am sent to do for the guilds, it has to be important. No longer should I be tasked with clearing out rats or some trivial quests like that. Otherwise, my time and talents will be wasted. But I don't really think that that counts for the Dark Brotherhood. Not yet. They are giving me increasingly more difficult and challenging contracts. And I am enjoying them. So does that make me a cold-blooded killer now? I suppose yes. Yes, it does. I don't feel bad about it, even though I know I'm not acting as a force for good on Mundus. Well, I have already done more good than most in all of history. Maroon Stagen and Umro the Unfeathered have both been removed from the world, and mostly because of my efforts. So as long as I don't get caught doing these assassination contracts, then that is what matters. Though to me, my public image does matter, so if even if people regard me as a killer, I cannot be seen as a criminal who must be sent to prison. If another invasion of our world takes place, I will be there to fight it off. But I cannot be this mighty hero all the time, or I might as well get sent back to prison to sit and think about my life again. Because there's no work for the mighty hero anymore. I'm also no longer an angry person. I feel that I have accomplished all that I can in life, besides achieving apotheosis. I have a good home, a good horse, more septums than I can ever reasonably spend, and have taken care of the worst enemies I had in life. So now I just look forward to challenges, and so long as I can maintain my image as the champion of Cyrodiil, I am content. I suppose that thing with Velia is another challenge that needs to be taken care of. Something should happen there, and soon. It's been more than long enough. With Fergus out of the way, perhaps things now will be easier? Who knows? We shall see. Farewell. Archmage you Traven. Comfortable. There is an urgent matter which requires your personal attention. Urgent, you say? This task falls to you and only you. Okay, what task would that be? Are you prepared to begin? I haven't heard what it is, but apparently it's urgent. I suppose I'm ready. Count Hasseldor of Skingrad has contacted the Council. He claims to have information that is vital to us. He has requested that you personally travel to Skingrad to obtain this information. I cannot stress how important it is that our relationship with Hasseldor be preserved. I expect you to visit him immediately. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, anything else you can tell me about what Janus, uh, Count Hasseldor would like from me? I am unsure as to why he has requested that you, of all people, should be the one to visit him. I have no wish to put you in harm's way. Yeah. Yes, I know what he is. Uh, any other tasks? Please pay a visit to Count Hasseldor in Skingrad. If his information is as vital as he claims, we need it as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Count Hasseldor awaits your arrival. And so you've said. I was really hoping to uh, go to a different place, but... Um... Well met. Uh, hello. I guess we go to Skingrad. It's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to Shadenhall. See the Dark Brotherhood. Been casting some de destruction spells. Well, what time is it? He's going to be sleeping. Maybe his assistant will speak to me. Skingrad. I do like it here. I don't know. It's not like Coral. Coral feels like home to me. All right, this way. Good to see you. Yeah. No, hello. Well, I don't know what they're all up to. In my business, I guess. Let's just see what he has to say and see what's so urgent. This may not take that long at all. I go and speak to him or his assistant will give me a message and then... I'll go back to Shade. We'll have to go speak to the Archmage Traven, I would think, 
that is so urgent. And then I can go to Shaden Hall. It is a beautiful area. Oh. Coral's that way, isn't it? I think. Way up there. If I was up at... Flying around with like a bird, I guess I could see all of the Cyrodiil at once. How are you? I think we should buy some wine while we are here. Not a bad idea, actually. All right, aren't you the assistant? Hello? You are here to see the Count, yes? He has been expecting you. Please, wait here. I shall inform him of your arrival. It must be important if he's willing to wake up during the day. By all means, go ahead. Sweet cake looks expensive. Wonder if that was supposed to be him. Maybe a relative? <sighs> Gotta wait here for very long. I'm gonna start falling asleep. Well, I have nothing on me to read, though I have a lot of books on me. Maybe I should go and go back and home and drop them off and sell any of these excess before I go on another adventuring trip. I wonder if she has to open up a coffin to wake him up. Vampires do tend to like sleeping in coffins during the day. <laughs> Maybe she uses garlic. <laughs> Maybe it wakes him straight up. Maybe the oil from garlic. Put it on the fingers, rub it under his nose, and he'll wake up immediately. But then he might kill you, so it might not be a good idea. as the servant who goes to wake him up, if there's something urgent. Well, she's coming back, but I don't see the count. So, what's happened? Good afternoon. The count is on his way. Oh. Please remain here and be patient. Maybe he has to clean all the blood off his face after drinking someone to death? I don't know. I think we should buy some wine while we are here. So you said, unfortunately, one of the winemakers was of uh, the Cirilli brothers was killed. But that wasn't me that did that. I don't think that was no. There he comes. Hello again, Welcome, Count. Welcome, Guild Mage. We meet again, although in different circumstances. I fear this time you may find the results no more to your liking than the last. Less so, perhaps. The information I have for your guild will not be met with smiles and handshakes, I fear. Really? What information do you have? I have called you here because, from our previous encounter, I believe you can be trusted. Consider the implications of that. As you handle a small matter for me. I also tried to kill you to cure your wife. Nothing is for free, mage. There is a small nuisance I would have you deal with before I tell you what I know. Oh, for one good turn deserves another, after all. Why can't you just tell me now? And miss the opportunity? To take advantage of your help? <laughs> I think not. I assure you, the information I have will. Be worth your time. What's the problem? It is a minor situation to be sure, but neither I nor my guards can become directly involved. A nest of vampires has sprung up in Blood Crust Cavern, Have they? southeast of the town. They are a threat to the town and must be eliminated. 
Their presence has drawn a group of vampire hunters to town, following rumors of vampires in Skingrad. While I do not believe my identity has been compromised, I do not wish to take any chances, and so cannot act on either matter. You, however, can act with impunity, and so will take care of this for me. Then, I will tell you what I know. You know, eventually people are going to clue into the fact that you never dying is something strange. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't try to seek out a cure. Alright, what else can you tell me about this blood crust cavern? What do you wish to know about it? Where is the cavern? The cavern is a short distance east of the castle. Far enough from town that few residents have reason to pass by it, thankfully. Why are vampires there? I assure you, I am not responsible for them. Really? I would never be so careless. Where there are mindless animals, predators are never far behind. This is not the first time such a thing has happened, however. On some level, they're aware of my presence. Are they? Whether they covet all that I have, or simply wish to see it destroyed, I do not know. They have given in to their instincts, and are little more than animals. They need to be exterminated, one way or another. You sound very upset about this. All right, I've heard enough about them. Very well. What can you tell me about the vampire hunters? A troublesome lot. I expect you to deal with them. You want me to deal with vampire hunters? Who are the hunters? There are at least three of them. I know only one by name, a wood elf, called Eridor. He's rather good from what I understand. I could handle them myself, but it would be unwise to display my prowess in public. That is the folly of the young and proud. If you're so powerful, why don't you go of and course, kill all the vampires yourself? Should you be caught murdering them in the streets, the guards will respond accordingly. I can't be connected with this, remember? Where are they? This I cannot say. I have refrained from expressing too much interest, lest their attention be turned towards the castle. The citizens will likely know more. I imagine many have noticed their presence here. How should I deal with them? Kill them. Run them out of town. Do what you will. I simply want them gone. Okay. Of course, should you be caught murdering them in the streets... Yes, yes, so you said. ...the guards will respond accordingly. I cannot arouse further suspicion by offering leniency to you, should you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Yes, yeah, sir, so just drink all my blood and kill me. All right, heard enough Very about well. that. Heard any good rumors lately? The Elder Council and the bureaucracy have managed the Empire's affairs for decades... The Emperor rules, but the Council handles all the details. <laughs> I kind of knew that. Goodbye. I shall await oh, your return. <sighs> well, I actually don't feel right about going after vampire hunters. So he wants me to kill two groups. The vampire hunters and the nest of vampires. Well, at first I thought he... Uh, didn't want any competition. But now I'm starting to agree with him. If he is a vampire, and trying to keep it secret that you wouldn't want vampire hunters around the town. But you know what? All he has to do is pay someone to start rumors about where this vampire coven is, and then they'll go and deal with them. And then their thirst for vampires should be sated. Either they'll get killed, or they'll kill the vampires, and then they'll probably go away after that. Maybe. I mean, there's a lot of things that could happen. They can go <laughs> try to kill the vampires. The vampires all turn them into other vampires. And there's a lot more vampires. Or they can go and kill the vampires. Come back. And start searching the rest of the city. For vampires. And get the Hello? whole populace worked up over it. I guess it is a bit of a... Um, a wild situation that... You know, maybe... Maybe what I'm doing is probably the best course of action of what... Are you doing? The pleasure is all mine. 
you normally go look at dead rats, do you? I like you. I like you too, Vilya. I'm tired of this place. Let's go somewhere else. Well, we have to go find those vampire hunters. Let's just talk for a moment. Of course. Is there anything in particular that you would like to discuss? Uh, tell me your thoughts on this place. When I was staying in Skingrad, Gunder of Colovian traders tried to teach me how to kiss. Kiss? Ha! I taught him how to smack somebody very hard in the face. <laughs> Alright, uh, interesting. Uh, Goodbye. You, you could try teaching me how to kiss if you wanted without the smack in the face. I, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't. There's that very good looking Bosmer. Very attractive woman. Now, <clears throat> I would assume that they would be at one of the inns. There's this one, and then there's the other one that's run by those orc sisters. That I really don't like going to. Bernadette Pen to Penelli's house? No. Oh. Where is it? Maybe I'm remembering the city wrong. No, this is exactly it. Their their place should be right around here. Clarther. Oh, the two sisters lodge. Looks different from a map. I was I thought it was down here. Yeah, right from the Cirilli, across from the street from the Cirilli brothers. So, anyways, let's uh let's go in here. Afternoon. Go ahead. I suppose I should ask around. Hello. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Nice gear. You must be a somewhat successful adventurer. I can't need to replace those boots, though. What's new with How can I help you? Hello. Welcome to the West Weald Inn. I'm Irina Giranis, the proprietor. If you'd like food or a bed, speak to me. Have you heard about any vampire hunters in town? No one like that staying here, I can assure you. Oh. I don't want that kind of clientele. Of course, I wouldn't put it past the orcs over at the Two Sisters Lodge to rent them a room. Just what I was thinking. What can you tell me about Skingrad? Count Skingrad has ruled here all my life. The county is quiet and prosperous. In the old days, the Colovian estates were always in the thick of some war or rebellion. But that's ancient history. All right. Heard any good rumors lately? I can't believe it. The Grey Prince has been beaten. There's a new arena grand champion now. Someone called the Spellslinger. Nah. Yeah, that's me, actually. It Though when I tell people that, they don't always believe it. You get they say they are all the time you sold up in the same What is your problem, Dunmer? What? Oh, I am closer. So you gotta turn my bones to ash, huh? I don't know what that was about. Alright, let's go to the orc. The orkin. I wonder if one of these beggars has heard anything. Hello? My children will thank you for your help. Uh, have a coin, beggar. Thank you, kind sir. Heard any good rumors lately? Tomato, tomato. Daedra, Deidre. It's all the same to me. No, only idiots say Deidre. Goodbye. Blessings of the shadow upon me. That's somebody dead over there. Well, that's curious. I have no idea. Let's send him to the graveyard. This happens from time to time. The gravekeeper would take care of him. I don't know why you just leave dead bodies lying around. Hail! What's the latest? I have no idea what these vampire hunters look like. Hi there. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. Goodbye. Take care. Go. Rat. How goes it? This is a Where was it? Not bad. 
you're talking to me, and Stupid I don't thing. like you. Goodbye. Why do you bother me? Go away, carcass of ruined indolence. Nothing I'd like to talk about. It seems that these so are turbulent times in the land of the Dunna. How do you Hello. do? Hello. Good day. I really wish I didn't have to talk to you. Your face is so ugly. All right, have you heard of any vampire hunters in town? Hi. They're staying here. They are. Don't say how long they'll be in town, but as long as they keep paying, I ain't too worried. Eridor's the chap in charge. I've talked to him and Shamar. Didn't catch the names of the other two. They'll be back around midnight, I think. Sh Shamar? Back around midnight? Uh, okay. Farewell. Both Fighters Guild recruits got back it's like alive. somebody took a rolling pin to it's her face and just start. started spreading it out. Yes. Goodbye. Well, I don't know how much that helped me. Shamir? Er Erendar? <sighs> See, I would like to talk to him. Maybe I can mention... Whoa, this really is close to Skingrad Blood Crust Cavern. It looks like it's... May not be on the road to Skin Grab, maybe just off it, but that's really close. I was thinking maybe down as far as Silorn would be, or Firelight, Firelight Cave. Not right there, it's really close. The Oblivion Gate, this, the one that we had to close down, that's close, that's further away than this one. I can go to Castle Skin Grab and probably throw a stone from the top of the battlement. And it would reach where that is. You too. How are you? Terrible. Just terrible. He said Shamir. I, I really need to pay You're more attention. To me, and I don't hey. A pleasure to speak with you. Yeah, I'm sure it is. How about those vampire hunters? What did you say their names were? Hi. They're staying here. Won't say how long they'll be in town, but as long as they keep paying, I ain't too worried. Eridor's the chap in charge. Eridor. I've talked to him and Shamar. Didn't Shamar. Didn't catch the names of the other two. They'll be back around midnight, I think. Oh, there's four of them. Okay. Eridor. Farewell. Sounds like... Didn't you say there was a Bosmer leading the group? Oh. That doesn't go upstairs. Shamar sounds like it's a, um... You look like red guard. you a mace or two in your time. Eridor. Well, a Bosmer and... A red guard. Hey. Greetings, champion. Oh, I remember you. I'm at your service. A long time ago. All right, goodbye. Good day. Not who I'm looking for. They said they'd be back around midnight. Well, that's fair ways from now. What if we went to this Blood Crust Cavern? Well, you know, I happen to remember seeing a red guard by the gate to that le leads to um Castle Skin. I'm right? listening. Please. Go ahead. What is going on here? Alright, let's keep going. Where's the red guard? Hello. Well met. Uh, hello? While the guard hid behind the walls, you took the fight to oblivion itself. Maybe your example will inspire others. Uh, you're not Shamir, no. Okay. Pretty good rumors lately. Euros is a good shepherd, but his real love is cheese. Of course, there's no money in herding cheese. Herding cheese? Bye. Well, you kind of are herding cheese with the... Uh, Do you know there's a vampire cave practically the cows and under the... Skinred Castle? I suppose the bloodsuckers want to be somewhere that is handy for the shops. How are you? How come you're not inside your... Oh, who are you? A perfect tomato. One taste, and it's gone forever. And then, a lifetime of searching for the next one. Undina Arethi, I'm a pilgrim in search of the perfect tomato. It is my grail, and I shall follow it all my life. Interesting. Okay. Good to you tell me about skin grant. You wouldn't think it, but our rocky soil is perfect for tomatoes. The same ground that produces our glorious wines produces my splendid tomatoes. Goodbye. I wonder if she's a, a tomato farmer. Yeah, where, where is that red guard? Uh, 
It's an orc. Hello? It's my pleasure. Please continue. Uh, oh, are you part of the Mage's Guild? Okay. Good day. Makes sense. I wish you were one of them. I'd Bretton. like to speak to you. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. Yes, I was. Well, you're not a vampire hunter, so goodbye. Bye. Where did that... Such good company. Welcome. That looks like a captain of the guard. There was a red guard. Yes? Oh, I remember him. Hello. Oh, no. Not another one. Huh? Ahem. Citizen of Skingrad, please be advised that I am here on official business and wish no harm. Oh, forget it. Let me guess. You're worried about what my men and I are doing here in town, right? You're the, you're the lead vampire hunter. Are you Eridor? Yes, that's right. You have my assurance that my men and I will do everything in our power to keep the people of Skingrad safe. We're here to help. If you have seen anything unusual, particularly anything implying the presence of the undead here in town, please report it at once. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have some questions. What is it you want to know? Why are you here? So word hasn't gotten around to all the townspeople. Interesting. They must be very good at keeping a low profile. We heard tell that vampires have infiltrated the town. Came here to root them out. Where are you looking? I've got my men scattered all over town. Shamar's up by the statue. Vontus is out oh. in the high pasture. And Karsten has the town exit near the castle covered. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. If you say so. You should be doing that during the night, I would think. I have some information for you. If you know anything, it is in your best interest to tell me now. After all, your town is at stake. Do you know where the vampires are? Yes, Bloodcrust Cavern. Is that so? Well, perhaps we'll have to pay them a little visit. Thanks for the tip, friend. I think that's the best thing that I can do. Why is there another dead body? Ugh. The last of the has been driven off. So, shouldn't he be going and rounding up his fellows to go to Bloodcrust Cavern? Uh, well, perhaps I should go to Bloodcrest Cavern. Are you going to go there? I'm not dressed like an adventurer. Not well, my shield and my mace. I'm, oh, we have to go to the other side of town. I guess we have to deal with this. I had greater plans for the day. It is nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you. Doesn't it seem to you that skin guard guards are a very pompous bunch? How dare they tell us to hurry up? They never hurry. Unless it is to look pompous. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get... Uh, we've done this before. We'll ride south of the city. Then east. I've told them where to go. Hello again, Prophet. Time to Can uh, I help you in any way? Put on your your armor. Yes. You do want us to stay together, right? Let's go and equip your armor. Back to work, I guess. You look just fine in that. Let's put on all this. Back to work we go. Time to mount up.
Well, I know where they are. But we have to go to Bloodcrest Cavern. And you know what? Even... I can always come back to them and say I cleared out all the vampires that you guys came here to do. And there's no more in town left. I think I'm on top of it almost. Well, where is it? Oh, dead Zivili. Well, this is strange. To the south. Strictly to the south. Might be time to return some undead back to where they belong. Oh, here it is. Well, it's not right on the road, it's but it's close enough where they can just go back and forth without being seen, I suppose, at night. There, you ready to kill some vampires? I really hate these things. Um let's see, what damage health? Good enough. I really should be using my other weapon, though. <clears throat> Shock damage. Well, there's no point in really trying to sneak around with all this light paint cast on my armor. Presence here yeah. will not be tolerated. Well, that's just great. I can go invisible too. See me? Ah. Oh yeah. Not used to you being right in the way. Oh. Well, I didn't expect this. Ah. I've been silenced. That really hurt there. Ow. Claymore of Winter. Well, it's worth quite a bit. That doesn't mean anything. Vampire dust. Vampire dust. And vampire dust. Well, I would hope that this would be all that there is, but I know how things work. Of course it's not. Let's go through. Nothing here. Vampire bed. And I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about that casket over there. Oh. Somebody right there. I think they hear 
or something. Ah, damn it. You do realize. I oh. damn you. Am I supposed uh, to be impressed? That didn't work at all. Really doesn't work with heavy armor, no matter what I do. Not very. Oh, there's another one. There's quite a lot of them here. Some of the poorer dressed vampires I've ever seen, actually. All right, well, let's try this again. My shrouded armor. Let's use my best weapon. Makes it more like ball. It's quite visible. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Okay. Now, oh. if I can't sneak up on them and back, or back smash them with my mace, I guess I could always try to stab them. There is a bit of sharp points on it, but that really wouldn't work too well. I have to use my full strength to do it. I just want to get a nice good sneak attack in. Blood! I need your blood! Oh. Oh. No, why? You blood. I need your blood! No. Yes! I Take this! Sweet flesh, huh? I'll give you a sweet bash into the head. You too. Alright, well, I've shown I could do it. When I want to. Back to my, uh, regular armor. Tetric Dagger. Not even that heavy. There's another one around here. Jeweled necklace. What? Where are you? Where are you? Vampire dust. I see him. Take that. Deal with this. What's the matter? Getting tired. Ah. Oh. Oh. Alright, I don't know who's dangerous who's. One of them. It's not mine. Oh, excuse me. Die! Ah. The vampires in Bloodcrust Cavern have been disposed of. Now I must deal with the vampire hunters. Yeah, uh, about that. I was hoping they would come in ahead of me. Maybe they didn't believe me. Maybe they thought that I would, could have been a vampire myself, and they were just going to hang around town for a little while longer. But if I was a vampire, they should have followed me down here. If they thought it was, I mean. No. Vampire dust. Battle axe of the dynamo. Interesting. Chest. I don't know. Did I loot this one? Yeah, I think I did. Gold and repair hammer. Must cure disease before I leave. Well, how much more is there of this place? Oh, uh, it actually was not that extensive. It doesn't have that uh, feeling that vampires have been here for centuries. We've been here, but we haven't gone to the left, though. Here. Well, they're not using um, coffins to sleep in, which is odd. Guide to Skingrad, which we've read. Bloodgrass. You don't see that anymore. It's an oblivion. Well. No way I'd be sleeping in this place. Who knows if there's not vampires. Well, it's daytime, so 
Our night was coming on. That's night time. Alright. Well, I didn't do it before I left, but might as well do it now. I should have checked myself. See if I actually was diseased. I would I'm curious about that. Alright, so these the actual threat has been removed. So he doesn't he won't tell me until I get rid of these vampire hunters. Maybe I should just go back uh, back and speak to the Ari Ariador. Tell him I already took care of him. That he doesn't need to be here anymore. Hi Come on, Vilya. Mount up. It's funny how the old Oblivion gates still glow. As I said, it must have taken an enormous amount of power to uh, open them and maintain them being open, so I guess it's re just resi I hope I'm going the right way. Not really, I am going the wrong way. Just the residual energy left over from opening and maintaining them is still there. But I guess they're going to glow for a while. I don't know how long those things will last. I can imagine... That would just be like the Elite Ruins, maybe. In a century or a thousand years, you'll still see some remnant of them. Unless somebody purposely goes around and smashes them all up. But, I don't know. They're a bit like little scars on the land. But they're a reminder of what the people went through, even though it was horrible. How about practicing my fighting skills? You want to practice fighting? I always enjoy doing some sparring. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Is there anything I can do for you? You want to practice fighting, do you? Sure. Um, let's practice our fighting skills. This might be fun. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna use my magic, too. Which I haven't used before. Oh, yeah. Are you actually even shooting an arrow at me? Are you out of arrows? You're not doing anything. Bill, you. Well, I heard that. Come on. All right, I'll start. Whoa. Ah, ah, she got me good. That's it. No holds barred. Ah, that was all my magic. Up. How are you draining my strength? You're Ach. a dangerous bastard, aren't you? Ah. You made a big ah. mistake. Listen, my mace is supposed to drain your strength, not I'm my loose not strength. Of you. To you. She's tough, actually. Are you trying to kill me or what? Oh. I thought we were doing this for fun. But look at what you did to me! Actually, you were tearing me up. Tell me, how much do you know about Fergus? He's really nice company, but uh, I don't think he's telling all his secrets. Yes, I know. We've talked about this. Uh, let's go. End time. She actually did a lot of dished out a lot of pain to me. And of course, whenever I don't hold back, then she thinks I'm trying to kill her. Well, I wasn't trying to kill her. I expected her to say that's enough. Uh, I really hate this part of the city. Why can't there just be stairs going up there? Who designs it like this? Maybe a vampire. Maybe he's hiding around the rocks and people come in through the front gate. They don't know where to go. He can't get up over that that little overpass, and then, so they just stand there confused, and then he jumps out at them and kills them. Maybe that's what Count Hasseldor used to do. <laughs> Good to see. You. Wow. I guess the cats can really breed when Fergus isn't around. Oh, he was right here. Now I have no idea. Oh, he go... What time is it? At midnight, they all go to the... 
The Orkin. I don't care what it's called. It's called the Ugly Orkin. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Two Sisters Lodge. Ugly Orkin. I should actually write that on their sign. A little bit of graffiti well, over it. Ugly Orkin. Just tell it like it is. It's you. Here where are some goblins to run I see no reason to talk to the about the That's not one that one has a tail. Maybe they're sleeping? Has become I hear that the high elves train them. Hey. A pleasure to speak with you. Wow. Your sister actually looks a little attractive compared to you. That's actually really disgusting that I even said that. Go well. away, fool. The Hi there. I can't so imagine kissing something with teeth like that. Ugh. Goodbye. Take care. You too. Hello. Why do you bother me? Go away. Greetings. Maybe they're sleeping. This is the time that I should be out hunting. Actually, they shouldn't be here. I'm listening. Please, go ahead. How can hey, I? Hey, hey, Hello again, citizen. I guess you are just going to sleep. I have some information for you. You've already told me all that I need to know. Well, you certainly didn't act on it. They're already dead. And what? I'm supposed to take your word for it? Sorry, friend, but I'll need some sort of proof. You got any proof? Uh, I have a lot of vampire dust. Well, maybe you're not lying after all. If they're gone, then there's no point in hanging around here. Damned amateurs. You people should leave it to the professionals. Heard any news lately? Urs the Shepherd sure does take care of his sheep. <laughs> and boy, does he like cheese. I mean, he really likes cheese. I like cheese. Not more <laughs> than sheep, though. I'm not Sh sure about Uras. Sheep cheese? Sheep milk? See. Yes, there is such thing. I've actually never tried it myself, though. I have uh, heard of it. There's goat's milk. Oh, you can make cheese from it. There's cow's milk. Everybody's had that. Uh, some of the Nords, though, don't really like it. Well, they call them milk drinkers. I do like paintings. Uh, but I don't understand why they would put two of the same exact paintings next to each other. Hmm. Looks like three men uh, having lunch. In the middle of the day. Interesting. I wonder how old those paintings are. I like paintings like this, too. Oh, there's people there, right there. Although the mountain... I don't know, it doesn't look... It almost looks like it's covered over in moss. I don't know, maybe this is in Black Marsh. I also like seeing pictures, or paintings, of I've people just some living their lives. stories about Count Hasseldor. Commoners with their I'm children. I'm sure that couldn't be true, though. Oh, Velia, you know he's a vampire there with me. Alright, now that we've done everything in here, I guess we can return to um, Count Hasseldor. At least now he'll probably be awake and does not be woken up. Alright, how do I get over there? Sometimes Velia says some s silly things. I wonder if she's doing that just to get attention from me. I've noticed in life that if you say something wrong, people will be quick to respond to you with correction. Personally, I don't think that Count Hassador should be. He should be a Count. I don't think he should be a vampire. He seems to be an intelligent one, and he's uh, restraining himself. Trying to keep a secret. I don't know. Vampires... It's like trusting an orc not to uh, steal or rob him. Beat you. Just for... Just because he could get away with it. And I don't trust an orc. Not at all. Or do worse to you, as I've had done. Oh. Well, let me guess. He's awake, but there's no servants awake, so I have no one to tell him. Well, would he be upset if I just barged into his room? Isn't he out hunting people right now? Maybe he should go hunt those vampire hunters. No, oh, he said he wasn't going to. But if I go in here, the guards see me. 
don't want to cause trouble. Wait. I could always, you know, if I sneak up Pumpkin onto him, though. Such a sweetheart. Don't you think it's not a good adorable. idea. He could always call for the guards. I mean, you know, let's just wait for the day. Alright, let's go to the Mage's Guild and then return. We'll sleep there. Alright. We actually went back home to Coral's. Have a good night's sleep. Have our watch. Now we return to Castle Skingrad during the day. And one of his uh, assistants Hello. should be able to help. Hello. You have completed your tasks for the Count, have you not? Then, please, wait here while I inform him. No, I didn't even answer yes or no. All right. Will you look at these shoes? They hardly last a week. I just repaired everything you're wearing. We're both really good to go back out there. So after this, we're going to have to return to the Arcane University so I can tell Archmage Traven what Count Hasselort has to sell, tell us. And then we'll be on our way, unless it's urgent again, back to Shadenhall. So I can inform the Dark Brotherhood that I performed that latest assassination contract perfectly well. And then we are to go out southeast to... Um, this place that Umbokano wants me to find, this high fame place. But first, we're waiting on the Count. Wolfgang, you are as good as any dog. Better. You're very good at fighting. Never really gives any problems. Occasionally barks, but... Which is weird, because I heard that wolves don't bark. You're more like a dog than anything else. There we go, he's barking right now. Maybe he picked that up from a dog. Maybe he was raised alongside dogs, I don't know. Picked up their mannerisms. Here she comes. Probably tell me he's on his way. We've seen this before. I think we should buy some wine while we are here. Uh, am I carrying a bottle of wine? Probably look a little rude if I just start gulping wine down right as the count is coming, though. I don't think I have any. I have skooma. <laughs> you want to start doing that right now? I didn't think so. It's probably not a good idea. I don't have anything but potions. I'm surprised. I guess I drank all the wine. I've got a lot of little potions on me. A lot of those potions I don't need. They're just there in case I should ever need one. I was about to uh, whip out a healing potion in that cave when I was fighting the vampires. Alright, uh, does he not come until you tell me he's on his Hello. way? The Count is on his way. Please remain here and be patient. There he goes. Hello. So the work is complete. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. It better be important, you know. It better not be just like I want to say hi to Archmage Traven. All right, I got rid of the vampires. You hunters. convinced them to leave, I see. The vampire hunters. <laughs> A wise plan. More hunters will come in time, I'm sure. For now, Skingrad is quiet again. And you have my thanks. Okay, so uh, I also cleared out Bloodcrust Cavern. The cavern is silent once more. I would be foolish to think that this might send a message to those who would encroach on my territory. Hmm. Okay, so as to this information that's so important, what is it? Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The necromancers are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil, and they are answering his call. While Who I do not it? know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the Guild of Mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Mana Marco? Nearly invincible. He has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, 
Traven learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. Wasn't Manamarco killed in the Second Era? And didn't he raise an army of undead? He is an old and powerful necromancer. Traven will recognize the name even if you do not. Yes, I mean, I heard about that in history. Reading history. And that's all you have to say, is that Mana Marker's coming. I have told you all that I know. Mana Marco has come to Cyrodiil, and I believe he means harm to your guild. Traven must know this. Even I know that some from your guild have defected to join him. I believe you can be trusted, as you have been attacked once already. Perhaps right. it is a mistake to make that assumption. I was just going to say that. Only time will tell, I suppose. Could be a ruse. I could be a necromancer myself. But uh, I seriously doubt it since, I don't know, necromancer, necromancer vampire. That would have been interesting if I had remained a vampire. But no, uh, heard any good rumors around? They say Alinor on Somerset Isle is more beautiful. I've never been. For the present, I must count the Imperial City the most glorious in Tamriel. Hmm. My old tutor used to say, speak of the world of uh, the Somerset Isles. Return to your guild and prepare yourself accordingly. Alinar is supposed to be the most beautiful city. Didn't he say it was a city of crystals? And... Sounds like it'd be blinding during the day. I don't know. High elves always speak like they're the most superior race ever. It's probably a good thing that the... Uh, what was it? The, the Aldemary Dominion in the Second Era? Well, that was put down, but they did try to conquer all of Tamriel. Everything is based on their race being the superior one, and everybody has to bow down to them. At least the Imperials kind of... Well, they don't, they're pushy, but they don't... Uh, they, they try to make it so everybody can partake in the Empire and as as equals, right? So How about you? I've never minded go them. Go and kill something? You know, normally, meeting a woman that wants me to go and kill something is might be a little you disturbing. Like you've swung a mace or two in your but with Vilya. Vilya, Vilya, Vilya. We gotta go back to the um, Arcane University. Sold all my excess loot. Yeah, with Vilya, I just like listening to her speak. She's got a odd yet very familiar, and I think a beautiful voice. She just says things. Her, the way she pronounces words is just very, very funny. Imperial City to the Arcane University. All right, let's go you see Archmage Traven. Of a smith. Must have spent some time repairing your gear. Uh, I have actually. I'm self-sufficient that are way. You? Hello, Archmage Traven. What news from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor? I have. <sighs> he said something odd that Manamarco, some great and powerful necromancer, has returned, and he's joining his fellow necromancers here in Cyrodiil. What? Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly, believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the Council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. <laughs> how are you? Fantastic. Thanks well, I don't know what to make of it myself, but I do know I want to go see the Dark Brotherhood, so let's go to Shadenhall. I like how everything's just like teleport like away. I, see. I can go home so easily. The uh, Mage's Guild and Coral is right by my home. Things kids play. Uh, not really going the wrong way. I'm kind of. Oh, I oh, almost made it. A coin. Dead cat. Two dead cats. Not Probably all on the lookout for Fergus, who started all the ruckus. It's you. I didn't do anything. Except for assassinate people.
But she won't know that. They probably don't even really believe in Sithis and... Not that I believe in it either, but it is interesting. Fun work. I'll believe it when I see it, I suppose, if the Sithis... Which would be kind of impossible, because Sithis was born from... Oh, uh, do I have to even get into it? It's a long story. What are you doing? Ochiva, I'm I here to see you. I am honored by your presence. How can Ochiva be of assistance? The High Elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father, Sithis. And there were no witnesses to your handiwork. No, there were not. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you just I practicing sneaking up on the undead guard here? Well, uh, do you have any more work for me, Uchiva? I have another contract when you're ready, one that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. I've been practicing a lot in that lately. Uh, what do you get? What can you tell me about the shadow scale? I see you have been speaking with Tanava. What he says is true. All our lives we have lived together in the shadows. We are eggmates, twins. Eggmates, huh? We were taken at birth and given to the Dark Brotherhood. We return to Black Marsh as shadow scales trained in the arts of stealth and murder. Together, we served our nation as spies and assassins, as all Shadow Scales do. When we came of age, we joined the family as one. And here we are. Hmm. You can tell me about Scartail, the one I assassinated, or murdered, or killed, whatever. He did fight back, so it wasn't an outright murder. Scartail now lies with the worms of Bogwater, thanks to you. I am forever indebted to you, brother. You're welcome. Heard any good rumors lately? I, I've heard some talk. This past year, some family members have been found murdered. Could there be an assassin among assassins? Oh, that's interesting. Why would that be happening? Everywhere you go, there's always strife, no matter where it is. Look at the fee. The mage is killed. The fighter's guild is fighting with that Black Marsh group or, what, or mercenary group. I don't know. Now there's problems within this guild. If you can call this a guild. So, what contract do you have for me? Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Ooh. Do you accept this contract? That sounds like fun. Sounds challenging. Yes, of course I accept. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, oh. kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Yes, of Whomever course. arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. Oh, okay. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Interesting. Where to the west is this? She said far to the west several times. Let's see. Fort Such. Now, I hope this wasn't an old ruined fort that I've already went in and cleared out, because I did fight a lot in those old ruined forts. But then that would have been some time ago. She said far to the west. Probably haven't been there. I mean, it's not marked on my map that I've been there. Wasn't this around where I was looking for the parts of the orrery? These camps? It's not like I really explored this area very well, but yeah, Fort Such. Uh, I guess I can go to Anvil and just ride north. But that'll have to 
come after this. I plan to go down to Malada. That's my goal right now. So, well, I'll do this afterwards. Uh, I've written two different things. Okay, no, deep. Uh, I don't plan to go to Deep Scorn Hollow. No, I just the one thing. Uh, I should proceed to Malada and look for the carved panel that Umbakana wants. A carved panel, huh? All right. Well, we have something to do. Let's get on it then. We go to the south. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.